and welcome to project 81 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this animated image website by just using html css and javascript so here you can see we have these three uh circles right here our button what you want to call it and if i just click on the second one so here you can see this image will take a little bit of time and it will just render this image if you just click on this one it will take a little bit of time and it will render this image and so on and so forth okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right to our code editor and write our code so attach to this video in the description below you will find a link to my github repository if you want to download the same images which i'm using okay or if you want to use your own images so that's also cool okay so now let me just create a three files inside this folder we are going to be creating index.html file now let's just create our style.css file and finally let's just create our app.js file okay so that's that now let me just collapse these images from there and now let me just make it a bit bigger so we can just work on our project i want to change the title to like animated images and now let's just link that to our css and also to our javascript so now let me just hide this metadata from there right click on it and open it with a live server so now it will open it in a live server all right so now let me just write an html code so for html we are going to be writing a div with a class of container inside that we are going to be writing our first row inside this row we are going to be writing our column one Okay, so inside this column one, we are going to be writing our h1 and explore uh, best properties. Okay, so that's that. Now let's just write our lorem ipsum in here. And once we save it, and this side looks like underneath this paragraph, we are going to be writing our button for more properties. And also underneath these buttons, let's just write our ul. And inside this ul, we are going to be writing our li. So now let's just give them a class of like btn and active as well. So now let's just duplicate it a few times, remove that and these actors from there. And now we are totally good to go. So instead of three, let me just remove that last one. And now we are totally good to go. Underneath that, we are going to be also uh, creating a column two. So I'm gonna just write like class of call two. And inside there, we are going to be placing our image. So we are going to be working on, uh, let's just select our image. And now let's just select our zero one. Okay, so now let's just remove this all from there. And now once we save that, and this is how everything looks like right now so here you can see we've got our massive image right here because we installed that all right so now we are done with html so now let's jump into our css and now let's just style that a bit all right so for css first of all let me select everything let me just put a little bit of padding of zero and margin of zero box sizing will be border box and also font family will be sans serif okay so that's that now let me just get all of the buttons for this side and now let me just put like a margin of right and it will be now set to like minus 20 pixel and padding will be just 15 pixel from top and bottom and 40 pixel from left and right now let's just remove that border so i'm going to just write border zero and now let's also remove that outline and border radius will be now equals to 25 pixels okay and now let me just write a background of this 333 and now underneath that we are going to be changing the color to totally white okay so font size will be 14 pixel and also cursor will be pointer now let's just write box shadow zero and then 10 pixel 10 pixel rgb and rgba for alpha transparency zero 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 and 0 0.2 for alpha transparency so now if you just save that and we can all see that because we've got our massive image right here uh let's see all right so here you can see we've got our button right here so we just tiled that in total side now the next thing which you have to do is that first of all let me just uh, make their image a bit small so call two and now let's just get our image and now let's just put a width of like 35 frame 35 frames and also the height will be 100 vh and margin bottom i'm going to give me like minus five pixels so now if you save that uh and now here you can see we've got our image right here now underneath that first of all let's start working on our first row which is this row and then we are going to be working on a column so let me just get my row and here we are going to be placing a width of like 100%. You want to write a display of flex, justify content of space between. And also, let me just give him a background of totally white. So now let me just give him a border radius of like uh, 15 pixel. And then overflow will be hidden. So now if you just save that. And here you can see we've got all of this place right here. Because we provide this width of 100%. And this is how it looks like right now. Can you so... Now let's just get our column one and column two so call one and call two okay so once you get that here we also want to provide a workflow hidden as well so that everything works on ease 
And now let's just get our column one. So I want to just write column one. And now let's just add a display of flex on it and flex direction will be set to column and justify content will be set to like space around. So if we now save that, and this is how everything looks like. I know it's looking a bit ugly, so we are going to be saying that just in a second. Now let's just get our column one and probably a little bit of padding like um for top and bottom we've got add pixel not pixel but percent and for left and right we have this uh five percent so now let me just add a position of relative to it okay so this is how it looks like right now now let me just get my paragraph so column one and paragraph and color will be totally like seven so come on let me just write seven 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 in there and line height we have is like 22 pixels Okay, so we've got a margin of like 15 pixels, 0 and 30 pixels. Okay, and now let me just write a max width of like 500 pixels, 7. And this is how currently it looks like. It's getting better and better. And now let's just select our UL. And now let's give them a little bit of position. Absolute and also bottom will be just like 30 pixels. The 7. And this is how it looks like. Now the next thing that you have to do is that we have to select our allies, which is um well, let me just show you that which is these allies right here okay all right like this style of none because i want to remove that and now let me just give them a width of 15 pixel height will be also 15 pixel display will be in line and block come on let me just write that block and now underneath that we are going to be writing our background and now let's just write like bf 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 and finally boyfriend border <laughs> radius will be like 50 percent and margin right come on margin right will be just like 15 pixels and cursor will be pointed so now if you just save that and this is how it looks like right now okay so i don't like when i just click on somewhere so i get a cursor in my browser i don't know microsoft just released this feature. i don't know i guess that's because of my operating system all right so now let's just select our active one so now let's just style that a bit so i'm going to select my ul and active so we are going to be writing a background of just 333 333 not two so seven and we have this actor one right here all right so we are totally done with this project not totally done but the css part of it but now let's just write our javascript um class so we are going to be using this zoom class in our javascript so now let's just give them an animation of zoom animation name will be zoom and the duration it will take is like one second so now let's just create that so i'm gonna write key friends and key friends key frames and zoom and now it will start from zero and we want the transform value to be scaled from 1.2 and now we want to you know i'm going to duplicate this and change this one to 100 and transform will scale to scale down to like just one okay from 1.2 so now if you just save that and we can all see that right now because we are going to be applying that to this image and we are going to use that so that so we cannot see that all right so now we are totally done with css and javascript <laughs> come on i'm kind of losing my mind today we are totally done with our html and also with our css so now let's jump right into a javascript and provide our interactivity the first thing i would do is i'll just get all of my buttons let me just write a document that query selector and not just query selector but query selector all because we are going to be getting all of the buttons now we selected these buttons and i did a mistake in html so now let's just give him the idea of banner so now let's just give an idea of like banner okay so that we can select this banner inside our javascript so now let me just select that banner so i'll just write document that get element by id of banner okay so that's then now the first thing i would do is that i'm going to create a function of animation and then we would iterate all through these buttons and we want to attach even listeners on them so the first thing i'll do is i'll just create a function given name of like animation animation and now inside this function we are going to be creating first of all let's get our banner we want to attach the zoom um come on not zoom but zoom um animation on this banner and now the next thing that you have to do is that we have to call or set time out and we want to just call our function right here which will just remove that zoom class from this banner okay so let's just add that like zoom okay so that's there now finally let's just give him like a uh, duration of like thousand millisecond which means like one second and then just iterate or through b of buttons okay so that's there so now let's just select our b and now just remove that uh, active class from it so once we save there we can all still see something because we can attach this zoom not zoom but animation function into something so now let's just iterate over through these buttons so for that we are going to be using like buttons and then for each and now let's just get our button 
um, button and also the index and now let's just write our btn and now attach our event listener on it so once we click on it so then uh, we want to call this function right here inside this function the banner.src will be equals to um, this images folder because I gave a name of like images so that's why we are selecting that as images slash we are going to be using and then index this index right here so we are going to be passing like um, index right here this index will be starting from zero so that's why I give a name to my images from zero through two or how many we have okay so we are just increment that so here we are going to be just passing like jpg and also your animation function and now let's just write a btn dot class list dot add and now let's just add our active class on it so now if you just save that and now if you just click on the second button so here you can see that animation happen and we get our new image so if you click on that and here you can also see these um urls right here so if you click on that so it will activate this one and remove this active class from the other one so if you click on this one animation is going to happen and the image is going to be changed right here okay so this was quite simple and easy project but i just kind of want to sh include it in my 100 days of projects because i thought it's going to be like useful for some people okay so if you want to attach this kind of uh effect and this kind of animation to your project so feel free to use this code all right so i think that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye